हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ नेटवर्किंग दैट इज ट्रिपल ए व्हाई आई एम सेइंग इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इंटरव्यूअर इज आल्सो आस्किंग मल्टीपल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक एंड नाउ डेज वी आर आल्सो यूजिंग ट्रिपल ए सर्वर इन real time in the production network so if you are a network engineer or if you are planning to become a network engineer right make sure you will watch this video till the end to learn triple a server right so guys first of all before discussing anything let me tell you triple a stand for what so see first a first a stand for first a stand for authentication actually this is a part of you know network security right guys but you know sometime interviews ask asking question from this topic to routing switching engineer also because this is right common common this is part of routing and switching also and part of security also right first a stand for authentication and today in this video we are going to focus more on this part on authentication right this video is going to you know make you understand all the things about first a about the authentication if i will talk about second a so second a stand for authorization authorization we will not discuss more about authorization in this video maybe i will make one another video on it right because of or because to perform lab of authorization i have to install acs server right and then last a stand for accounting accounting so triple a stand for authorization sorry uh, yes authentication authorization and accounting now if interviewer will ask you or someone will ask you like what is triple a then what should be your answer so let me give you one you know a small uh, definition of triple a as well here so guys you can say triple a triple a is a security features or you can say framework framework which is used which is used for controlling and tracking user access user access within a network this is definition of triple a or in simple word what you can say triple a is network security feature which is used to control login access of user right like you can see in this scenario i have one topology right in topology in topology you can see we have one router and two switches this is switch 1 this is switch 2 and i have one router here guys we have two clients let's say these are network engineer or network admin so if pc1 want to access switch 1 right to let's say modify the configuration or to do anything here right or pc1 want to access router 1 or router sorry switch 2 so as you know we have multiple option to access networking devices like we can access this switch through console port also through auxiliary port also but in real time in the production network most of the time you will see we are accessing networking devices remotely we are accessing networking devices remotely so again to access networking device remotely we have two protocol right we have two option one is as you know telnet and another one is ssh right either i can telnet of switch 1 router 1 and switch 2 or i can ssh of switch 1 r1 or switch 2 again to telnet r1 what pc1 need pc1 need what ip address of router 1 right so let's say here ip address is 12.1 or 10.1 10.1 here ip address is let's say 20.1 20.1.1.1 .1 so if pc1 know what is the ip address of r1 pc1 can tell it right that means there is no any password configured right there is no login command is running online vty that that's the, that is the reason why pc1 is able to access r1 right but like this if anyone know my ip address of router 1 they can access router 1 let's say here we have you know some users in other department in sales department right so they are also connected with my network so if this user know what is ip address of router 1 this user can also access r1 and they can remove routing protocol right so this is not secure 
so for security what you can do you can create user here right you can create user on switches as well as routers like on router number one i can create one user let's say username user let me write here i can run one command over here on router number one username username let's say admin admin and let's say password is cisco let's say password is what cisco one two three so i have created one user on this router now this admin this user can only access r1 because in line in line vty04 line vty04 i will run this command login local now it will ask for username and password who will try to tilnet this router right so what will happen now pc1 let's say pc1 have this username admin and they know the password now only pc1 can access this router right like guys let's say we have multiple number of users in my network right multiple let's say we have 100 number of users so for 100 number of users we need to create 100 number of accounts right on all the networking device let's say we have 100 number of networking devices then we need to create 100 number of users on 100 number of devices so actually what is happening here security is not centralized security is not centralized on each router manually you have created the username and password right user right for the access so security is not centralized and it is difficult to manage difficult to configure on each devices let's say whenever you will add new device on that device also you need to create all the users and if you will create hundred number of users on router or on all switches running configuration will also increase right so that's why we come up with triple a server triple a server is you know you can call triple a server to acs server also what we call we can call it acs server access control server access control server so you can see here in this network in same network i have one acs server here this is my acs server access control server now whatever username user i need to create right in my network i will create that i can create that user on this acs server on this acs server and these devices switch one switch two router one whenever someone will try to access these devices remotely right these devices will authenticate that user from acs server like let's say pc1 is going to telnet router one it will run command telnet and the ip address of router one then it will ask for username right then it will ask for password so pc will send username and password to router and router one is going to ask to acs server right that this person is authorized person or not this server will check the database if the, in the database there is this user user admin and password cisco123 it will pass the access either server can pass the access or server can fill the access right so if there is no entry for the particular user or the, yeah, let's say password is an incorrect or domain name uh, sorry username is incorrect then it will fill the access then router one will never give access to pc1 to access to configure anything right so what we did here we centralize the security we centralize the access control right now let's say we have 100 number of users we have 100 number of users and we have the 100 number of devices on all devices just i need to tell to switch one that who is your acs server i will tell to i i will tell to switch one ip address of acs server and i will tell to switch one whenever someone will send you login access please authenticate that user to acs server same thing i will do on router number one on switch number one on all devices i will define ip address of acs server and on acs server i will create all username right and all clients users will be authenticated through acs server right so this is what triple a and why we come up with it and why we are using it nowadays right in the production network just to centralize the access control on a, a specific server let's say now if new user will join my company and i need to create one more user i don't need to create that user on each devices i will create that user on acs server only right getting my point guys so that 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 is the reason why we come up with triple a server now let me discuss more about this triple a server like here you can see i have one book as well in this book 
you can see authentication means what authentication means who is the user and I am going to perform lab on, on authentication today only right so if I will talk about these three a like first a so first a is what authentication so authentication is like who is the user ask username and password ask username and password so what we can say who is the user first a means who is the user who is the user means tell me the username and password then second a second a is what authorization authorization means what what is the user allowed to do like as i told you in last video we discussed privilege label guys with the help of privilege label we can customize the number of commands that user can run our router right let's say pc1 pc1 should be able to access router one but pc1 should not be able to configure any routing protocol there right so this is what this is authorization like pc1 can run what command how many command what they can do on routers right that is what authorization or meaning of authorization is simple what the user can do or what the user is allowed to do right so here what we can say authorization means what what is the user allowed allowed to do right and the last a accounting means what last a accounting means what what actually user are doing what actually user are doing or you can say what did the user do right so this is meaning of authentication authorization and accounting authorization means who is the user right authorization means what user are allowed to do and accounting means what actually that user is doing right so we can track these all things through acs server on acs server right and guys i need to tell to these networking devices like to switch one daughter one daughter two right because see now this is my triple a server this is my triple a server and these devices are my triple a client these devices are triple a client so client will send request to server whenever someone will try to access these devices so these are my client triple a client client and client and acs server is triple a server right so when pc1 will send telnet request to router number one what router one will do here also you can see same diagram in the book and i want to tell you one more thing here let's say let's say here we have configured acs server in this topology right and these are my triple a client so this triple a how triple a client is going to communicate with server because definitely it will client will share some messages to server right so how these devices are going to communicate with acs server guys for this we have two protocol we have two protocol let me let me write the name of each protocol you can say in simple word there are two protocol which device will be using to communicate with acs server or you can say which triple a client will be using to communicate with acs server right so client will use two protocols we have two protocols that client can use to communicate with acs server number one is if i will talk about the first one if i will talk about the first one so first server is techx server techx server and second one is radius server radius right so either we can use techx plus server or we protocol or we can use radius protocol right so these two protocols are responsible to make communication possible between triple a client and triple a server now let me tell you take you here right here also you can see authentication means who is the user authorization means what is the user allowed to do and accounting means what did the user do right so here you can read more about you know triple a guys in the simple word i have make make you understand what is triple a now you can see we have two protocols techx plus 
and radius right if i will talk about tagx so tagx is cisco proprietary protocol it is a cisco proprietary protocol and radius is a open standard protocol right we can run tagx uh, protocol on cisco devices only right and we can run radius on cisco as well and on non cisco as well tcs is uh, tagx server is tcp based server right it is a tcp based sorry protocol tagx is tcp based protocol which uses port number 49 and radius is udp based server which is using port number 18121813 right 18121813 now see this diagram in this diagram same thing is happening i have one switch i have one switch and this is my triple a server and this is pc this pc when this pc will try to access this switch remotely let's say through telnet right first this switch will ask to this pc who are you who are you then this pc will send what username and password then this switch is going to forward see pc is saying i am john then this switch will forward that message to triple a server right it is asking to triple a server is john a lot is there john in your database is john genuine person to access me and then server will give reply yes accept him and after that switch is saying okay connect now this pc is able to configure anything on this switch and again not anything again you have what authorization you can limit the number of commands for this user again you have what accounting like what this user have actually did on this switch we can track those things as well on this server right so we have three benefit of triple a server guys now 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 let me tell you one thing here you can see guys i have console of one router right i have console of one router this is my r1 fine as you all know here in line vty let's say 04 here if i am running login command login command that means when you will run this login command over here in line vty 04 underline vty 04 it will ask for password it will ask for password which password which password not username and password password underline vty so here let's say i have configured what password cisco one two three right here i have configured what password cisco one two three and then i'm going to say login right now whenever someone will try to log in this device through line vty it will ask for password for which password for this password that means this device will authenticate the user by using password cisco one two three right and this password is in local database local database at the same time at the same time see here if you will check one thing so run and uh, what we can say section line vty let's say right here you can see we have login command under line vty because because whenever someone will try to log in this device it will ask for password which password this password password which is configured under line vty and when you will enable triple a on this router right see command to enable triple a is very simple first step is how to enable triple a on router by default triple a is disabled so to enable triple a you need to run this command triple a new model new model right this command will enable triple a server uh, the triple a feature on router and once i will enable triple a server on this router then guys this device will authenticate user from triple a server then automatically this login command will remove from here right because now router is going to authenticate user from triple a server so now if you will check configuration of triple a so run and section let's say triple a so now you can see we don't have any configuration in triple a actually triple a is disabled no triple a new model to enable triple a you need to run this command triple a new model so once i will enable triple a right on this router automatically this login command will remove from here why because now this router is going to authenticate user from triple a server from triple a server so you can see here now do so run and section line vty so we have what we have login command underline vty and if i will run triple a new model command here now this device will authenticate user from 
Drupal is server from ACS server. So now again, if you will check line with UI configuration, you can see automatically login command is removed from here. Why login command is removed from here? Hope it is clear to you. Because now this order is going to authenticate user from Drupal is server, right? So this is first step of configuration, right? Now on all lines, like on line console, line auxiliary port, line VTY ports, right? It is going to authenticate user from Triple A server. So now guys, hope basic understanding of, you know, Triple uh, A server is clear to you. Now it's clear to you like what is Triple A and why we are using it. Now I am going to show you the practical part. I'm going to show you practical part how to configure Triple A server. But again, I'm going to guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to cover only first A authentication part only maybe in another video i will cover authorization and accounting also right but in this video try to understand authentication so if i will perform on a small lab of you know telnet here or ssh let's say this is my router and here i have one client here i have one client let's say See, let's say this is client machine. Let me rename it client fine. Oh, this device is on. Let me turn it off and then let me rename it client. Now I am going to turn on this device again. Here on client machine, I am going to configure, let's say, IP 12 10.1 and on uh, server, I am going to configure, let's say, 10.2. Here IP address is 10.1 and here IP address is, let's say, 10.2. 10.2. Soon I am going to configure yeah, guys triple A server also in packet tracer. But before that, just I want to make you understand how you know telnet login will work. It's working, right? So let me access these devices. I have access of router one here, and let me access client machine also. Now, see on router number one, first of all, I'm going to configure IP configure T interface F0 slash 0 say no set and IP address. 10.1.1.2.255.255.255.0 fine say no set also and then line vty line vty 04 if i will run command what no login here no login what will happen guys now it will not ask for password right whenever someone will try to telnet this device or ssh this device so let me show you from the client machine on client machine i also am going to configure ip so interface f0 slash 0 say no set and IP address 10.1.1.255.255.255.255.0 right now from this client machine I am going to telnet r1 see telnet 10.1.1.2 I am able to access r1 or not yes you can see I am able to access r1 right and it have not asked for any password right so that means telnet line vty access is open for everyone we don't have any password right so what we can do here under the line vty on router number one i can run this command login so again if you will run login command right it will ask for password which password password under line vty so here we we have to configure one password so let's say here i have configured password what cisco one two three now this machine client machine can again access r1 through telnet but this time it will ask for password directly it is asking for password let's say password is cisco 123 password is sorry cisco 123 now you can see again i have access of router number one right so this time router one is authenticating through password which password cisco 123 underline vty right what i want that router one should should authenticate user with the help of username and password right so what i can do here i can run command login local now it is going to ask for username and password it will check you know log local database so inside the local database is there any user do so run and section username there is no any user right so let me create one user here let's say username abc and password password is again cisco123 now when client machine will try to access router1 through telnet you can see it's asking for username abc and then it is asking for password cisco123 so this time router one is authenticating this client 
with username and password from the local database because inside the local database there is one user you can see this user right so only now this user abc can access r1 through telnet if this client machine will try to telnet with different username let's say admin and password is again same cisco 123 this user will not get access right because inside the database of router of one local database this user is not exist right so this is guys how we can configure we can you know authenticate users access on router right like this as i told you if you have lots of users then it is very difficult to create user um, account for all devices on router and we have multiple devices so so on all devices you have to create user so what i will do i will add one acs server in my network so here you can see in packet tracer app one topology right in this topology this server is my acs server here i will create account user account right and this router or this switch this switch is going to authenticate user from this acs server so we will discuss all the things like configuration what will be the configuration what command you need to run on router okay so as i told you these are what triple a client and this is what triple a server and how triple a client and server can communicate with each other with the help of protocol and we have two protocol right one is techx techx plus and another one is radius radius right so we can use any one for the communication between client and server now first of all i am going to configure this scenario so let me configure one ip on router number one let's say here 10.1.1.1 is the ip here ip is let's say 20.1.1.1 okay and uh, to this client machine let's say this client machine pc1 have what ip 10.1.1. let's say 10 this client machine have ip 10.1.1. let's say 20 and this client have ip let's say 10.1.1. 30 this acs server have one ip address let's say 20.1.1.10 fine so this is my configuration let me configure the scenario first on pc1 i am going to define ip 10.1.1.10 default subnet mask 255 255 and gateway is 10.1.1.1 fine on pc number 2 also let me assign ip here 10.1.1.2 255 255.255.0 gateway is 10.1.1.1 right leave pc3 let me assign ip on server on this server ip address is going to be 20.1.1.10 255 255.255.255.0 and gateway ip address is 20.1.1.1 right so i have configured the ip addresses on the end devices now let me access router one and in this router i am going to configure ip first so okay now i have access of this router is asking for password username so i think there is some configuration on this router let me check what is user abc and cisco no so run do so run section user name so we don't have any user here let me check do so run section triple a so actually triple a is running over here i am going to remove this command no triple a no triple a new model new model and then no to this command also what happened no to this command now if someone will access this order you can see it's not asking for any password right i think ip configuration is already there so ip interface brief exclude and assign 
so yes we have already configured this IP address let me correct it interface f0 slash 0 say IP address will be 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 255 255.0 exit interface f0 slash 1 here IP address will be 20.1.1.1255255.0 right now the first thing is first thing is we need to enable triple a server on this router right now we don't have any user here right on router on this router so to enable triple a first command is triple a new model first command is step one let me tell you all the step to configure step one enable enable triple a for that run command triple a new model right once we will run this command triple a feature will enable on routers and it will remove login command from all the line because now line line interfaces are going to authenticate through triple a server so this is first command right this is first command that you need to run on router right on all networking devices like on switch also right after that as you know we have server triple a server so we have to inform the client who is who is the server so let's say here i am using right techx plus protocol guys right for the communication between client and server so i will tell to this router who is your techx server for that here you will run this command for that in a step two a step two define server ip right for that you will run this command techx server and then host ip address of techx server ip address is 20.1.1.10 right so this command will tell to router who is techx server or here we can say radius server also radius server and host then ip address of host then step 3 why we are using triple a purpose of triple a right what is the purpose of triple a server for that you will run this command step 3 step 3 triple a triple step 3 step 3 is In a step one, we have defined we have enabled triple A. In a step two, we have defined the server IP address. In a step three, you have to create a list for triple A. Guys, a list for triple A because whenever you know you are authenticating user from the ACS server, you have to create a list of triple A and for that create list of triple A and for that you have this command all commands will start from triple a triple a then authentication authentication or what we can say we can say purpose of here let's say purpose of purpose of triple a so purpose of triple a is now let's say authentication so i will run this command triple a authentication right what is the purpose of this triple a triple a authentication right then in a step here you will run one one more key but after that here i have actually defined triple a we are using this triple a for authentication like this we can use for accounting also we can use for authorization also right so here we will have three options authentication authorization and accounting to define what is the purpose of this triple a right and then we need to define the method then we need to define here method 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 means what method of list method of list like here we will have you know two method two options we will discuss more about this about the method later just wait i will show you configuration part also here we you will have one option login right so actually we are creating we are configuring triple a 
for the authentication for whom who will log in the device for whom who will log in the device right and then then login and after that here if you will put question mark again you will have two option right one is default one is default and another one is list so see try to understand here guys the difference so if you will define default here right let me write here default one option is default so if you will define default right default list is by default applied on all users on all users you can say this authentication will applied on all line vty or the second option is customization customization we can define a name and let's say i want to apply authentication on line vty only so on line vty only i can apply that right so if you want to apply the authentication on, on all line interfaces here you will use which keyword you will use default keyword right default keyword default keyword and now we have some more options so i am going to show you in the configuration here these are very basic step to configure triple a server on routers so let me take let me access of router one again here i am going to enable triple a first triple a new model right this command will enable triple a after that what i am going to say let's say tag act server and then hosts host and ip address of server 20 dot 1 dot 1 dot 10 and let me check is there reachability from this order to take x server or not because reachability must be there so you can see i'm able to ping that means there is reachability so till now i have run only two command one is triple a new model and another one is tech x and ip address of triple a server now here as i told you triple a what is the purpose of this triple a so authentication here i can say what authent Authentication, or I can say here accounting also. Accounting, I can use the pale for authentic accounting. I can use the pale for authorization. See if you will put question mark here, you are getting accounting option, authentication option, and authorization option. So either you can use, you can configure the pale for authentication, accounting, and authorization right so now i am creating triple a for authentication so here i will say what authentication authentication right after that after that here if you will put question mark as i told you authentication for whom for the user who will log in so you need to add this command here login keyword and then default as i told you again if you will put question mark here you can see we have two options one is default and one is you can specify a name here so let's say if i will specify one name over here let's say abc triple a authentication and then login and after that what i told you let's say name is abc so you know authentication will not applied on any line interface automatically you have to manually apply it but again here if you will use default keyword automatically authentication will applied on all line vty right so make sure you are running default here right so it will applied on all the interfaces automatically after that we need to call to group like which protocols you are using for the communication so we are using what techx server techx protocol and then first you know with the help of this command actually try to understand the command again triple a authentication i am using this triple a for authentication to whom to the device who will log in default means apply it for on all the devices then group group means this router will check user where first it will check to tech server and let's say if tech server is not reachable then check your local database then check your local database right so until and unless tech server is reachable from router number one it will send request to tech server if tech server is not reachable then it will check their local database so guys in local database also we will create you know few users like super admin right so for the scenario when my tech server or radio server will goes down then how router will authorize the user so this is the command that's it this is the configuration of triple a and now i'm going to apply it on 
line vty 0 4 so line vty 0 2 4 and here i am going to say authentication login authentication and then default what we can say default right that's it now try to access r1 from pc1 see from pc number one i am going to access r1 telnet and ip address of router 110.1.1.1 it's asking username so on this router we have user let me check so run section username we don't have any user right again it's asking for username because this router is going to authenticate this user from this acs server because we have defined the ip address of acs server to the router now it's asking for pass username let's say here this user will define any username it will not get access it will not get access see not getting access the username let's say abc password let's say admin right this is wrong information so now what i need to do i need to create user on acs server and guys before creating user on acs server you know we need to share to exchange one key between server and client this is my server and this is my client right so here you know maybe bocus router can request for the authentication to server or maybe bocus server means rogue server can authenticate the client so that's why we need to share one key between client and server right so what i need to do i need to define the name of device and the key name of device and key right on the server and the same key should be configured on router also like on router first of all on router i am going to configure the key on router first i am going to configure the key so here what happened yes on router I can run this command and while defining host means IP address of TechX server there also I can define key otherwise I can run this command TechX server and then key let's say key is what Cisco 123 right so this is for authentication between server and client now let me access this server and on this server guys go to services in services you have you can see AAA option let me turn on this feature and then you can say client name first of all client name means what is the name of your client client is networking devices like router switches right so name of this router is what r1 so i am going to say name of client is r1 what is the ip address of client let's say 20.1.1.1 is the ip address of client and then what is secret key so secret key is what guys cisco 123 i have defined it on router right here you can see cisco 123 and same key i need to define on acs server also right and after that which type of protocol you want to use so now i am using techx server now at this entry over here this is information of client right so let's say we have 100 number of devices right so for all 100 numbers of devices there will be information of client here on acs server and now i can create username let's say i'm creating user first user whose name is let's say admin admin and whose password is let's say what cc cisco let's say cisco cisco one two three four five right let me add this now i have one user name is admin password is cisco1235 now let me try to access r1 from this pc right from this pc see from this pc again i'm going to say telnet 10.1.1.1 it's asking for username say admin and password cisco12345 and now you can see i have access of router i have access of router but this user does not exist in the local database of router in the local database of so run section username see this user admin not exist on the local database of server this router actually this router is authenticating 
this client from the ACS server because on this ACS server we have one user like this we can create another user also right let's say I have one more user whose name is ABC ABC his password is again let's say only Cisco right at let me add it now you can see we have two user on this ACS server right so let's say PC2 is ABC and this PC want to access router so it will run telnet 10.1.1.1 command it's asking for username so username is ABC and password is Cisco now you can see this user is also able to access R1 and guys if I will open simulation mode here to show you the capturing let me exit from here what happened it will not work fine I know but again let me try it if it will work I can show you see here I am going to type this command telnet 10.1.1.1 right it will it is trying it, it, it has generate one telnet request message it will forward to router and what router will do router will ask for username and password after that it will send username and password and this router is going to authentic authenticate this user from ACS server so router will forward one copy to ACS server see it's not working fine right here it's not showing you correctly but what we can do we can see here we have user over here on this ACS server and with the help of these username and password these client machines are able to access this um, uh, this router in the same way on switch also we can configure triple a on this switch also we can configure triple a we can configure the key Cisco or we can define the IP address of TechX server and if you want to use another protocol radius so here you can choose radius one so if I will choose radius now now can PC one access this router through telnet see again it's asking for username let me say username ABC and password Cisco but you can see this user this user is still able to actually this is problem of packet tracer guys this is problem of packet tracer so users here we have one user with this IP address let me say clear line VTY line Okay, so we don't have that command also here but you know if you you have defined this server here then this PC cannot access R1 right because here we have defined what this TechX server IP address right but here we have defined protocol what radius so make sure here protocol should be radius sorry TechX right so this was this is guys basic configuration of triple A in upcoming time right I will discuss more about the play server right but this is sufficient for interview purpose purpose for the people who is learning routing and switching who is not security engineer right for those type of people this video is more than sufficient okay guys so now if you have learned something from this video guys please please hit on like button we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye if you have any question let me know in the comment section Thanks, that's all for today.